Welcome back. And uh, in this tutorial, we'll be talking about how to get inputs from users or from the computer. So basically, there are two ways of getting input. Is it that you ask the users to to type in their input, or you declare your input, or you initialize an input? So that is what we are going to be talking about today. And also, we are going to be talking about how to output your information or how to output your results using print statement or using the write statement. So let's get started. Now the first thing I need to do, as you can see, I've already built uh, the key basic blocks. It's just like this: putting your clear screen and then putting your n at the end at the end of your program. So I'm going to write uh, a simple program which I've already listed here. I'm going to write the first one program to calculate the average of three numbers. So let's get started then. So the room is going to say program to calculate the average of three numbers. So so what I'm going to do since uh the average of three numbers are we are going to ask the users to give or supply us the three numbers or we can declare the three numbers ourselves. So let's just declare the three numbers by using the let statement. Let's uh, first number, which is num one, equals to maybe ten, comma. Let uh, num two equals uh, maybe twenty. Then let notice that as I'm typing the let, the computer is removing it because is not necessary you can just declare it like the way it is and it will still work the same thing so what we are going to do first is to get the sum of these numbers then divided by the number of occurrences so for you to get that you say you declare a variable say sum is equals uh, num1 plus num2 plus num3 then after that you declare your ver uh, average variable let me call it av is equals to sum divided by the number of occurrences three now i'm going to output them print sum then i'm going to also say let me use this statement right average so we can get the differences now so with this i'm going to run this program and be able to talk you guys through what happens there. So as you can see, it's printed out this. So we have this to now what we did uh, is to declare three variables and assign these numbers to them. Number one, we assign ten, two we assign uh twenty and the rest. So the next thing we did was to do what the open or declare a sum variable and assign these numbers these are expressions we talked about the expression in our last tutorials so you should know that this one here is an expression because it's going to return a value so we declare this as to be num1 plus num2 plus num3 which if you use your calculator to check it is going to give us what 70 then we do the sum divided by 3 which if you want to get average average is total divided by the number of occurrence for example we see that there's only three numbers that appears here so we divide it by 3. We divide the total, which is 70 divided by what, 3. So it's going to give us what? 23.3333. So you, you got it now. Now there are another way you can do this. This uh, kind of program is not user friendly or it's not interactive. So there are ways you can do it or make it to be what? Interactive. By so doing, you need to ask the users to impute their numbers. Because the user may want to impute a different number rather than these ones. So in order for you to do that, you use the input statement. Input statement allows us to do what? Accept input from users. So you use your input statement to get what input from the user. So you just say change the following codes to what input input num one, input num two, input num three. So with this, the user will now be able to do what? Enter their own separate numbers. So we have uh Let's run our program and see what we've got. So, see the first one is asking us to do what? Enter a number. So we'll enter 
10 if I can remember those numbers press enter then enter 20 press enter then enter 40 then press enter I see it still gives us the same thing or rather than declaring the numbers because if you want to change this number for example you want to change this number or you want to check the average of another number what you need to do you have to reinitialize the other numbers but if you ask if you use input like this you just have to do what run the program again and change the numbers so this time as you can see what happens here give us 890 sorry and the average of 90 is what 30 here so I hope you understand what we are talking about now one other thing I want to point out is as you see these numbers like this they are not well formatted or the user may hardly know what this number stands for even if, if you just walk into these tutorials from now or if you just start these tutorials from the from this place you will know what this 90 is for you will know that this 90 is for some and you will also know that this 30 here is for average and this 20 here is numbers you imputed you will know so there are ways you can format your program to be user friendly so we are going to do that right away so we are going to use that method now to solve this other problem write a program to add, write a program to calculate the average of what sorry the area of a triangle so we are going to do that right away so for us to do that I'm going to just clear up these ones let me clear up this one and put the name program to calculate the okay the area of a triangle then we are going to because we've learned input statements we are going to ask the users to do what impute a variable or impute something so we are going to say input then we are not just going to say input a input b we are going to format it in a way that will make the users to do what understand what they are imputing so you're going to put what double quote here and then en say enter your I think let me write out the formula for area of a triangle mm. formula for area of a triangle is uh, I think half base times height half base base times height so this is the formula for what area of a triangle we are going to be using this in this calculation half base times height sorry there's supposed to be a mi multiplication sign here so then what we are going to do is uh, to say enter your or impute your what was base and the base you are going to call it what b as the variable now if you look at here you see we, that we separated them with what comma here we separated them with comma so don't forget that then the next thing is impute enter enter your height under your height then we separate them with comma and say h then another thing i want to talk to you guys about is you can equally initialize a constant you can equally initialize a constant this one is a constant because the value is already known so you can also in initialize this constant or you can just use it like that so anyway we are going to run it and you see what i'm talking about so we are going to initialize a constant that said pi let's call it pi is equals to I think half is 0 0.5 0 0.5 or you can just say half like you can say or let me say or you can just say 1 divided by 2 to still give you the same thing so anyway let's use this 0 0.5 then for you to get your formula you need to say area declare a variable and call it area is equals to then you put your pi here multiply by the base then multiply by the height then start printing out your result or outputting your result what, what you output now is let me say the area of a triangle triangle is equals to then put your comma here and then put your variable name which is what area what do you want to output do you get me so I want let me demonstrate anyway let me run it first you see so when the program opens the first thing that it will ask you to do is to do what enter your base I didn't format this very well so let me say enter your base space enter your height space and then run it again see it will be looking sweet 
So you have this now. Enter your word base. You can now know that it is what the base of a triangle. So you can just enter uh, maybe let me say 40. Press your enter key. You say enter your height. You can just enter maybe 30 and then press enter to do your calculation for you. So you say the area of a triangle is equals to what 60. If you evaluate this formula, it's going to give you 60. So let me change this one to let me not let me just change it to something else. Let me do something else here. Instead of instead of initializing the constant, I can just use half here and also see what it will give us. So I'm going to run the program once again and uh we'll see. So enter your base, let me say 30 enter your height let me say 40 see still gives us the same thing even when we initialize the constants and when we just imputed imputed it here see gives us what the same thing so anyways this is your quick tutorial on how to impute uh on how to impute variables from the user and how to initialize variables so i would like to say bye for now and see you next time bye don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.